What you're about to witness is an incredibly rare and sought after video that only a few people have ever had the pleasure of watching. Actually, you can tell how many people have watched this nonsense by looking right here. You are about to witness a raw J. Strauss math original from the archaic marker paper days. Now this is a special cut of one of the early videos I did on the quadratic formula. I've edited this video from its original 17 plus minute version. 17 minutes? No one wants to watch 17 minutes of anything, let alone quadratic formula. What was I thinking? Now because it's the summer, and I'm a teacher with lots of time on my hands, what else am I going to do, go outside? I've also added my own personal commentary throughout the original footage to make this video slightly more bearable. But be warned, this video is unlike anything you've seen from J. Strauss Math before. Unless you're one of the 89 people who sat through this original enthralling video. Enjoy! We're going to solve some quadratic equations today when we cannot factor. So those of you who don't like factoring, you're going to be happy with this video. What you've seen so far is we've solved quadratic equations by factoring. So let's take a look at this quadratic equation. We could try to factor this. We could try to find two numbers that add to get negative 5 and multiply to get negative 8. But you'll quickly realize that no such numbers exist. Okay, so I'm just going to show you a quick graphing calculator demo here that should illustrate that this quadratic equation does in fact have x-intercepts. While it's not factorable, it does still cross the x-axis in two places. So you can see we definitely are crossing the x-axis. We crossed twice at negative 1.27 ish and 6.27 ish. So from that demo, uh, we can tell that this guy does in fact have two x-intercepts, uh, but we can't find them by factor. We're going to look at something new today, and that's what we call the quadratic formula. Uh, it's a really big, ugly, nasty formula. It says the x-intercepts are equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Those a, b, and c letters come from standard form. So all we need to do is take these numbers and jam them into our formula, and we'll be able to get some x-intercepts. Let's take a look at some examples. So first one says use the quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation. We know that our a value is 1 because it's the number in front of x squared. Our b value is 4 and our c value is also 1. So what we're going to do is just sub these numbers into our formula. So we've got negative b, so that's going to be negative 4. We've got plus or minus the square root of b squared. Well, b is 4, so 4 squared minus 4 times a times c. That's just going to look like this, right? a and c are both 1. And we're going to divide by 2 times a, which is also 1. Let's just kind of clean this up a little bit. So at this point, I've got two different solutions that I want to deal with. I want to deal with the solution I get from adding the square root of 12 and the solution I get from subtracting the square root of 12. I've got negative 4, I'm adding the square root of 12, and over here I'll do the minus 1. But you're going to grab your calculator. It's not too often that these work out to be nice whole numbers, so don't be intimidated if you get a decimal number. In this case, when I add, I get negative 0 0.2679. I'll go to four decimal places. And I'm going to do the same thing over here, except instead of adding, I'm going to subtract. And in this case, we get negative 3.7321. So these are our x-intercepts. Okay, two solutions. Definitely not able to factor this quadratic equation. If we tried to add to get four, multiply to get one, you'll quickly realize there are no such numbers. Let's take a look at another one. This one's a little bit trickier because our a value and our c value are not one. Okay, these aren't negative signs, by the way. These are just kind of dashes. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have those there. Our formula says negative b is going to go in the first spot. Now, our b is negative four. Okay, so be careful here. This is a negative negative number, also known as a positive number. So we've got b squared. Well, b is negative 4. Be very careful. Put that in brackets. It's got a negative in front. And we're going to subtract 4 times 3 times negative 5. And we're going to divide all that by 2a. 2a would be 2 times 3 in this case. Okay, it looks pretty nasty. Let's clean it up a bit. So what you're going to do is do 4 squared, and you're going to subtract. And I would do all of this in brackets. I would do 4 times 3 times negative 5 and push equals. And you're going to get 76. So 76 under the root, and we're dividing by 6 here. Now remember the same thing. We're going to do two separate solutions here. We're going to get 2.1196. Okay, so that's one of our x-intercepts. Let's go over here. Okay, same thing. You're going to grab your calculator. You're going to be very careful. And I get negative 0 0.7863. And that's all there is to it for that one. Okay, there's nothing wrong with showing this extra step here. And just remember, when you get to this point, we've got to deal with this plus or minus, so we do two separate solutions, one for the positive, one for the negative. So I hope you've enjoyed this condensed version of this quadratic formula video tutorial. While I was in post-production here, I realized that it probably would have been much quicker just to record a new, more engaging video on the quadratic formula, instead of spending quite a bit of time splitting clips and cutting footage in order to piece together some sort of coherent tutorial.
but this was the first idea I had. If this video helped in any way, feel free to like and subscribe for more better edited mathematical chaos. As usual, thanks for watching.